The Princess and the Frog is a 2009 American musical fantasy film produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios and released by Walt Disney Pictures. What's good? It's a boy dude reviews and today we're going to review the 49th Disney animated feature film in the Disney canon, loosely based on the novel The Frog Prince by E.D. Baker, which is in turn based on the Brothers Grimm fairy tale The Frog Prince, written and directed by Ron Clements and John Musker, who you probably knew from directing films such as Little Mermaid and Hercules. The film features an assembled voice cast that stars Annika Nonna Rose, Bruno Campos, Keith David, Michael Lino Woolley, Jennifer Cuddy, and Jim Cummings, with Peter Barlett, Jennifer Lewis, Oprah Winfrey, Terence Howard, and John Goodman. Set in New Orleans, the film tells the story of a hard-working waitress named Tiana, who dreams of owning her own restaurant. After kissing a prince who was turned into a frog by an evil voodoo sorcerer, Tiana becomes a frog herself and must find a way to turn back into human before it's too late. Voo. And it began under production under the work entitled The Frog Princess. It marked Disney's brief return to traditional animation since, like, the home on a range and it's the first Disney princess film since Mulan and it was the mainstream animation studio's first originally animated film since 1998 in terms of princesses in a way and yeah the studio returned to the Broadway musical style format frequently used during the Renaissance era and features music written by composer Randy Newman well known for his musical involvement in Pixar films and the film also marked a return for Disney's animated musical film based on well-known stories since the Disney Renaissance era. And it opened in limited release in New York City and LA on November 25, 2009 and wide release on December 11, 2009. And the film received largely positive reviews from critics and audiences alike, praising the animation, particularly the revival of the medium, characters, music and themes, and was also successful at the box office, ranking first place in its opening weekend grossed in 270 million worldwide and yeah um yeah and on a budget of what was the budget 105 million it made over 267 million which is quite good pretty good it was pretty 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 damn good and i mean what do i think about this film well let's talk about the good and i just love how they went back to how disney used to be you know just I think that made the renaissance era just amazing they kind of brought it into this film you know just from like the wonderful animation the traditional 2d animation that looks like this that lovely motion the great character like dialogue and all that it's just phenomenal in this film you know the backgrounds are gorgeous and just have this lovely lush look to it and it just pops up from the screen and it's just like here we are new orleans has never ever looked any better than in this film and it's just such a glossy looking place I really love the character of Tiana, you know, like, she she doesn't fantasize and daydream about having a man, she just wants, the thing I like about her is that she wants her parents to, you know, be well and just to have a great life, you know, she's thinking not about herself but for the needs of others, you know, which makes a really strong character, you know, she's determined, she's strong-willed, she's got a good heart and you just root for this character and I absolutely love her best friend, that, that blonde, Oh my gosh, like, she is one of the funniest characters I've ever seen in any, like, movie in, like, a long time. That This is Charlotte, and, yeah, voiced by Jennifer Cody. Oh my gosh, she's just funny and fantastic. I also love the villain's design as well. The villain has a very interesting look and design. I um, think it's really great and amazing, and... I think all the character designs all have a unique look and they're all wonderful, you know. I love like the OST, it's really great and really fun and all that. And this film is just a fun ride, you know, it's a fun ride with just wonderful visuals. But in all honesty, it doesn't really hit as much as other Disney films, you know. I mean, it's a great film, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I just, it doesn't hit as hard, you know. But I will say it's got a good story, you know. I do really like the whole story, you know. Like, I wasn't expecting Tiana to turn into a frog as well. Like, it did surprise me because I didn't see the trailer of this film. It that aspect surprised me, but I do like her and the prince's kind of like um, interaction and like their. I love their chemistry. They, they just 
you totally ship dude, those two. Bruno Campos does a really good job um, portraying this guy. And yeah, it's just a really well-rounded cast. And you have that, and you have these um, animal creatures who, in my opinion, are some like the best animal sidekicks since, gosh, since, I'd probably, I have no idea since when, maybe since Pocahontas? No, probably um, Hercules, I'd say. Like, you have this firefly called Ray, who's just, it's, he has this strange love for this, um, star and I like the whole running gag thing saying that everyone's like it's not a real firefly but he doesn't care it's just it's adorable and then you have that crocodile um, who just wants to play in a band and it's just very strange characters but they're just likeable and you love them you know and it's just wonderful just a great story you know and yeah but the thing is is that this film is just wonderful this is every this is something that the audiences needed, you know, like for Disney, they needed a traditional film that had great characters, great songs, great animation, just to ignite Disney. So what happened? Why didn't this film ignite the box office as such? Well, looking back on it, many Disney like producers and like some of them like um, feel like Disney may have made a mistake in the marketing. Um, because the word princess people thought that oh this is gonna be a film just targeted towards girls and it's just a bit sad you know because originally disney considered releasing at least one hand-drawn film every two years and it was starting off with winnie the pooh and then it would you would have like tangled winnie the pooh then you have wreck it ralph and then the snow queen which was later renamed frozen was originally meant to be 2D but it was later switched to CGI due to complex visual elements in the story and later yeah and many people including this blog website noted in July 2014 and with the release of hand-drawn concept art for Frozen which it became highly successful by grossing over a billion dollars worldwide that any future hand-drawn animated films had been killed for the time and yeah sadly it was you know there's a lot of things that came to play with the film like people think that the title princess and the frog put people off in a way and people think our oh, princess is just for little girls so a lot of other people probably wouldn't have been interested in watching the film to be honest with you so were audience also biased that 2d wasn't as cool because maybe with pixar being so epic and up literally just came out a year before and People will probably love that film. I think maybe the general audience just, maybe they preferred it, but is that the case? Like there's a lot of things that probably led to the downfall because many people praised their heck out of this film and it made an okay amount, but this should have been like, people have been like feeling nostalgic over Little Mermaid, re-watching all those old class Disney classics. So why is it that people can't go to the cinema and watch a new one? So. What is it? Was it a title? Could people not stand a black princess? Could people not, you know, just not like the word princess in their film? We never know. Like, maybe all three, maybe it was one of them. It's hard to tell. But for this, I will say Disney have been on a roll ever since, you know. They released Tangled. Originally it was meant to be called Rapunzel, but they looked at what happened with Frog, Princess and the Frog and they renamed it to Tangled. So having these kind of odd names for these Disney films like Frozen, Tangled, Brave, you know, like you'd just have like these one worded, you know, letters and people would see it and be like, oh, this, this looks interesting in a way. And yeah, um, also maybe the fact that it's CGI, people just prefer, you know, like I, I really, can't comment on it you know it's i could probably do an entire video essay on what's going on with 2d animation and why people are not as appealed to it anymore maybe they are but maybe it's just timing in a way maybe it's the right story the right name and the right time to release it in a way maybe that's the problem but 
in all honesty, with all said and done, Friend vs. Santa Frog is one of the best looking Disney animated feature films. It may not be my favourite, but it is one to go and watch. And I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, and I'm going to give it an A. Go check it out right now. It's one to watch and not to be missed. But thanks for watching this video. Please like and share this video and comment down below and tell me what's your favourite Disney flick. Am I wrong? Am I right? Tell me. It's just my silly opinion. With that said, thanks for watching. As always, Boy Do Reviews signing out.